How's it going, Libra? <laughs> it's Robin here. Hey, guys. <laughs> you think I'd start over, but I'm not going to. Welcome to Aries Fire Tarot. I'm doing your January 2022 month ahead tarot card reading, and I will be using the Witch's Tarot to do this reading for you. So this is going to be for Libra in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And like I said before, it's a general reading. I really hope it resonates. If it doesn't, you might just want to check out your Moon Sign reading this time around and we did have uh, a card fly out of the the witch's tarot deck so <clears throat> this is the fool card okay but i'm not done shuffling so anyway guys remember to comment and subscribe tap the notification bell all of that groovy stuff um okay all right so my guides would like me to just you know stop talking and start reading and i'm all aboard for that so these are two really high potential cards for you guys, okay? So when you see the Fool card, it's the beginning of the major arcana. It's called the Fool's Journey, okay? So this is a brand new you, a brand new start in 2022. We're seeing angel number 111 roll by as I'm talking about the Fool card. So when you see this, you can expect a couple of things to happen. It could be a reignition of passion, a new opportunity coming in, just something is like a complete breath of fresh air. If you guys live anywhere where it's like you get really extreme temperatures and you have to stay locked inside for a while and you can finally open the door and it's like oh, roll up the windows and breathe in like fresh air. That's what the fool card is like, okay? It's like stepping into a new existence, okay? So, and this is also going to tie in with the ability of the Eight of Pentacles to create your own wealth, okay? So, there could be a new opportunity where you guys are turning a hobby into a career, you know? Something could really pivot for you guys in January. Hold on for a second, guys. I can't say the word pivot without thinking about that one particular Friends episode. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, <clears throat> it's like this portal is going to open with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So you can see how closely he is examining that pentacle. It's like an opportunity slipped past you or you just weren't interested or it was like, oh, I'm not going to do that right now. It seems like too much work, okay? So this is going to revisit you sometime in January and say, wait a second, you know, maybe I should put a little bit more thought into that because it could open brand new doors and windows of opportunity for me. And why did I pass that by? So if you're thinking that thought to yourself, why did I do that? Why did I gloss over that opportunity? Try not to worry about it too much. You just weren't ready at that particular moment in time but you are now for whatever reason, you know, you could have been helping somebody um, complete their karmic cycle, or maybe you just, you just weren't up to it, but now you are. So you can expect that where you're like, oh, I really did enjoy doing that. And I see that people on whatever, you know, seller's market, they're making tons of money and you have way more skill than them. So there's no reason you couldn't be, uh, I'm just going to grab this card. Actually, there's a really big opportunity here for you guys to be inspired by your friends, you know, because maybe they're aware of some gift or talent that you have, the Three of Cups, and they're like, you know what? I saw somebody doing this, and I know you're a million times more talented. You're better at this. You're a better writer. You know, you're a better painter craftsman, whatever it is, and you could get a little push from your friends where they're like, you know, I know you thought about this before and you weren't into it, but now could be a really good time for you. So that could really open up your inspiration and set you basically on this path to freedom with the Fool card and this opportunity to basically roll in the dough and your friends aren't going to expect anything from you. You know, they are just doing this out of the divinity of their heart. They're like, you're so much more talented than what people are selling right now. I just saw angel number 444, guys. So that's a really important number. You want to look those up after the reading. Okay, so you have some really genuine friends 
that are ready to support you through this transition that absolutely 100% believe in your gifts, abilities, and talents. So really sit down and listen to people and then do your due diligence, which is being reflected here in the Eight of Pentacles, just looking and saying, like, I can build that better. I can write that better. I can sing that better. I can dance that better, you know? Plus, I have all this business acumen or whatever other talent you developed along the way when you were first presented with this opportunity. And for whatever reason, it just didn't feel like the right time. So now you have compiled all these other personal assets, you know, whether it was taking accounting or whatever else to help you sort of float the ship of a private personal business, you know, turning that passion pro project into a viable way of supporting yourself and your family and your future family. So really take time and listen to your friends when they come in. And this could also be being supported by your team and spirit right now. They could be approaching you and sort of giving you dreams or inspirational messages or actually putting ads for people that do the same thing as you. And maybe you are more talented and you're more accessible or, you know, you can make something that is a little bit less expensive. So you could be seeing things like this just being brought up when you're watching whatever social media or you're seeing billboards or ads in a magazine or something like that. This is actually your spirit guides putting these things in front of you as sort of a wake up call, okay? Because they want you to understand that whatever this is that you have this niche ability is your gift to be prosperous um, in this human lifetime. Let me just pull one more card here for you guys. Okay, so I find this card is quite interesting. This is going to be the page of swords. So whatever argument that you're going to try to attempt to put up against yourself right now, it's going to be a weak one. Okay, so why would you protest this opportunity? It's just going to be ridiculous. Um, you could have been telling yourself no for a long time. And this is basically the sword of no that you have been sort of squashing yourself down with. So it's time to put that down, okay? You're, I'm getting the word protestations, okay? Your pushback is no longer going to be accepted by the universe. So you may as well just get on board with understanding that this is an opportunity that is going to blow up and make you a ton of money. And that's all good. All right, Libra. <laughs> Take care. Bye.